Evening, everyone. It was a stunning number to see for sure. One day, more than 5,000 reported cases in Dallas County alone. That was yesterday. The county, though, explained today that it was data and a coding error from the state, and the newly reported cases are part of a big backlog they have. Now we know how widespread, though, this problem is. Good evening. I'm Doug Dunbar. Good to have you. We're streaming live as always, CBS and DFW. So, an estimated half a million tests are part of this huge data problem, as it's described as. Our Andrea Lucia reports tonight. All new at 10 o'clock. COVID-19 cases statewide appear down, and in Dallas County in particular, in sharp decline. But problems with the state's electronic lab reporting system have cast some doubt on the data. The state now says three labs had problems submitting about half a million test results that are only now being publicly reported. Quest Diagnostics told CBS 11 the state changed a server without telling it. The lab was sending results, it says, not realizing the state wasn't receiving them. Nobody's more frustrated, I wouldn't think, than I am right now. Dallas uh, County Judge Clay Jenkins mistake. blamed the big mistake for a backlog of more than 5,000 cases the county received this weekend. Most date back to July. That means case numbers appeared lower than they should have, just as parents and school districts were wrestling with whether to return kids to class. But here's why we need to get our arms around this pretty quickly, because I think they're going to be necessary to make good decisions on whether to open schools. That Baylor College of Medicine Infectious Disease Specialist Dr. Peter Hotez says accurate data is vital. But he said the state has openly admitted its mistake and is working to correct it. I'm quite confident there's no conspiracy, no weirdness going on. I think, you know, the, everyone's inundated, everyone's overwhelmed with trying to manage the data with under very difficult circumstances and I, you know glitches are going to happen. Well the good news says Dr. Hotez is a decline in hospitalizations and in deaths makes it pretty clear that the number of cases is going down although maybe not by as much as we thought. The state says it'll take a few more days to clear out the backlog and we should have a better idea of what's going on next week. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.